aldehydes and the ketones react with the ammonia derivatives and we know in the aldehydes and the ketones there's a polar carbonyl group when you react uh, these aldehydes and the ketones with ammonia derivatives ammonia is NH3 and if you replace one of the hydrogen there by any other group let's say this is the Z now what will happen in the acidic medium these ammonia derivatives react with the carbonyl group so first what happens first there is addition of a you know this uh, nucleophile on the carbon so there will be the addition product so carbon oxygen you know double bond breaks because carbon has a delta positive oxygen is a delta negative so therefore this will is going to attack on this one so you get an, initially you get an addition product like this you get NH and Z this is the OH group and these are the two other groups here right? let's say this is the R and this is X let's say this is R and this is X this X it can be hydrogen or it can be the alkyl group depends whether it is aldehyde or a ketone so what you get initially in the acidic medium you actually get an addition product over here right so basically there is addition of a you know ammonia derivative over the carbonyl group right and then after that there is loss of water there will be the loss of water hydrogen from here and the OH from here there's loss of water and you get a carbon nitrogen double bond so you get a carbon double bond nitrogen and there's a group Z here this is the alkyl group and this is the X now what you get this is the final product that you get you know when you react the ammonia derivatives with the aldehydes and the ketones this reaction occurs in the acidic medium you see this acidic medium is very very important right this reaction cannot occur if you don't have an acidic medium you cannot carry out this reaction in the you know in the neutral medium okay why it's important because if you look at the mechanism let me write down the first the mechanism of this reaction how does this reaction you know actually take place first we know the carbonyl groups you know they are not uh, uh, you know they, they cannot be under the attack of a weak nucleophile like this ammonia derivatives right okay so therefore what you have to do you have to activate the reactivity of these you have to activate these groups right you have to increase the reactivity of the carbonyl group okay because the carbonyl group cannot be under the attack of a weak nucleophile like these ammonia derivatives so therefore in the acidic medium there is protonation first so first step is that you know oxygen with the lone pair of leptons they get protonated so the carbonyl group is now protonated here so you get a double bond oxygen and there is a hydrogen now with the positive charge on the oxygen and now this molecule undergoes resonance now right, you can write down the resonating structure like this you know electron pair shifts towards the more electronegative atom oxygen and you get a carbon with a positive charge and oxygen with the OH now these two are the two resonating structures so this is the first step you know you are increasing the uh, activity reactivity of the carbonyl group in the acidic medium so you get these two you know intermediates and now in the second step it is the attack of a nucleophile right so the nucleophile is NH2Z is this it is this nucleophile NH2Z that will attack over here let me write down here NH2Z right the with the lone pair of electrons this you know molecule will attack on the carbon carbon okay so what you get now you get a carbon with the OH Two other groups let's say this is the R and this is the X and now there is a nitrogen atom with two hydrogen atoms already attached to this one and you got the group Z also but nitrogen has a positive charge this is uh, very much unstable and it's gonna release now from this position it will release the proton as H positive so there will be the loss of H positive and you get a carbon with the OH R group and X and this will be again you know this uh, nitrogen has a atom Z and there is one more hydrogen attached to this one and now in from this molecule there will be the loss of water see the OH from here and the H from here is the loss of water minus H2O and you get a carbon nitrogen double bond there you get a carbon double bond nitrogen and this is the group Z and these are the two other groups so that means the overall you know if you look at this reaction if you look at the starting compound and the final product over here this is your starting compound and this is your final product you know that means if you look at these two uh, starting in the final compounds we can say that the overall reaction is that the ammonia derivative two hydrogens from the ammonia derivative and the one oxygen from the carbonyl group is lost as H2O all right it is lost as H2 and you get a carbon nitrogen double bond right that is the compound that is the product that you get when you take aldehydes and the ketones you know you react to them with the ammonia derivatives the important thing for this reaction is this 
acidic medium. See, you cannot carry out this reaction if you don't have an acidic medium. This reaction occurs only in the acidic medium because you know this carbonyl group cannot be, you know, it cannot be under the attack of a nucleophile. You know, NH2 is not so strong nucleophile, right? So, uh, you know, you have to increase the uh, reactivity, you have to actually increase the activity of these, you know, uh, carbonyl groups here. And that is only possible when you take the acidic medium. And one more thing is that you cannot have a very strong acidic medium, right? You know, even you know, selecting a very strong acidic medium, uh, you know, will not be favorable for this reaction. Why? Because in, in a highly strong, you know, in a very much strong acidic medium, this NH2, NH2, you know, this ammonia derivative, will, uh, you know, it will be under the attack of the proton, right? Okay, and that will make it a very bad, you know, uh, nucleophile, right? Okay, that will, so therefore this NH2 ammonia derivative will not act as a nucleophile if it is very, very much strong acidic. Correct, so that's why we take normally a pH of around 3 to 4 for this reaction. That is the optimum temperature, you know, this pH for this reaction. Okay, pH 3 to 4 is the optimum pH. We cannot have a very strong acidic medium and we cannot have a very, you know, weak acidic medium because in the weak uh, acidic medium, this carbonyl group cannot be, you know, protonated there. All right, so we have, we need a, a pH around 3 to 4 for this reaction to occur. Now let's take different types of reactions, different types of, you know, uh, the ammonia derivatives that we normally use for this type of a reaction. Here's an example, you know, you have a uh, ammonia derivative here is the CH3 and therefore in this reaction, when you carry out this reaction in acidic medium, it is this, you know, nitrogen that's going to attack on this carbon and then there will be addition product, after that there will be a loss of water, right? So you can say the net reaction is that these two oxygen atoms and these two hydrogen atoms are lost, so there is loss of water and then you get a nitrogen double bond of you know, this carbon, so you get this product. In general, we can say, if you take, you know, an aldehyde or a ketone and you react it with the, with the a group like, you know, let me write down this, uh, let's write down the NH2 and R. This is, this can be any, you know, uh, alkyl group, any alkyl, it can be methyl, ethyl, whatever it is, in the acidic medium, so what do you get? You get a carbon double bond nitrogen, and then you have an R group here. Okay, this is, you know, no, no, uh, generally what you call it, the Schiff's base, right? This is the primary amine, and if you react with the primary amine, you get a Schiff's base, right? This one. We can react to the aldehydes and the ketones with, you know, any other ammonia derivative, like it can be, if it is a hydroxide, right? If the Z group here is hydroxide, then what you will get, you know, this is called a hydroxyl amine, and from the hydroxyl amine, in the acidic medium, there is loss of water, right? The final product will be, you know, let me write down the final product, you know, when there is attack of the nucleophile on it, and there is loss of water, right? Okay, there is a loss of water also. The final product will be, the carbon will form a double bond with the nitrogen, okay? And the group attached to this one is here, this is, uh, you know, this OH, right? The Z group here, you know, is this OH, all right? So this is uh, the product that you get. So that means from the, Hydroxyl amine, you get an oxime, right? This is an oxime. You know, carbon double bond nitrogen and, and the OH, this is what you call as an oxime. So from hydroxyl amines, you get an oxime. Okay, so you can take any other reagent for this process, you know, suppose let me take the carbonyl group, aldehydes and the ketones, and if you have NH2 and another NH2 group. So what is this one called as? Right, what is this one? This is a hydrazine, right, isn't it? It's hydrazine, again, the same thing, you know, the same procedure, these two nitrogen atoms, these uh, these two hydrogen atoms, they will react with the water, there's a loss of water, right, because first there's attack of the carbon, and then, you know, there will be the loss of water, and you get a carbon double bond nitrogen, all right, and then the group here is NH2, this is the product that you will get. So from uh, hydrazine, this is the hydrazine, you get a hydrazone, right, Okay, from the hydrazine, you get a hydrazone. So you can you can take any other you know uh, ammonia derivative. Let's say suppose you talk, you take a carbonyl group and then you take NH2. Let's say this is hydrazine, and if I take NH and the phenyl group attached to this one, now what will happen? Okay. So now this is the phenyl hydrazine, right? You know one of the hydrogen replaced by the benzene. Okay. Uh, again now. The same process, okay, the procedure is the same. You're gonna attack on this one. Oxygen will be lost as water with these two hydrogen atoms. So in the acidic medium, 
there will be the loss of there will be the loss of water and you get a carbon double bond nitrogen and then you have a single bond nitrogen NH and a phenyl ring so that means the different types of you know ammonia derivatives right the different types of ammonia derivatives uh, they react in the similar fashion first they form addition product and the addition product then subsequently there is loss of water and you get a carbon double bond nitrogen so in general I can generalize this reaction like this you know you got a C double bond O and it is NH2 and this can be anything this that can be anything like you got the hydroxide you got NH2 it got is the phenyl hydrazine right so in all these reactions in the acidic medium first there is addition and then there is loss of water and then you get a carbon double bond nitrogen and the groups are here attached to this one so these are the different types of products that you get when you react to the uh, aldehydes and the ketones with the ammonia derivatives hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now